We worked our buns off yesterday trying to get things cleaned up and looking good because today is our photo shoot and we got it looking pretty good. There's a lot more things in the garden, of course, that I would like to have had done, but I think it looks good enough for the photo shoot today. The roses and perennials are all opening up and starting to bloom just in time for the pictures to be taken. Now this rose, Rosa Multiflora, uh oh, the wind knocked over my, my bay leaf tree. Oh goodness. We had a bit of a storm last night. But this Rosa Multiflora was gorgeous yesterday. I mean, beautiful. It was blooming so nicely. It was so pretty. And then we had that storm last night. And all the beautiful roses, the petals are on the ground now. Ah, that's disappointing because I really wanted some pretty pictures under this arbor. Look at quietness. Even though she's got black spot pretty bad. Look how beautiful she is. Look at the bud. Gene is washing his tractor. Getting ready to get some pictures of him on his John Deere. We're just waiting on Zach and Jacqueline to get here and Miss Eleanor. We're gonna have lunch and then we're going to take a lots of pictures. All of our outfits are all laid out, ironed, and ready for our photos. We're ready. How's it going in here? Delicious. Is it good? <laughs> Really good. Great. Thanks for picking it up, Papa Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, it's not my normal homemade lasagna, but. Yes, it's. I mean, you're not going to hear me complain well, about for lasagna. You, for right this time, <laughs> that's it. I do make a mean lasagna, though. I believe it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll just have to try again next week. That's right. How's it going over here, sweet girl? Good. What you eating? Salad. Salad. And lasagna. Yeah, we. I knew that pasta is one of your favorite things, ain't it? Some brown eggs. Some brown eggs. Blue eggs? So what does that mean? Maybe it's a robin? What do you think? Maybe? Uh-huh. I don't know if there's any in the yard. Have you ziplined yet? Not today. You did today already? Are you filming? I'm filming. <laughs> Out into the ground?
look at me. And smile. Y'all look at each other. Jacqueline always does such an amazing job when she does our photographs. She just has an incredible creative eye and she's so super talented. She always just brings out our personality and the beauty of our farm every time she comes and takes pictures for us. We had so much fun with Zach and Jacqueline and Eleanor. They were supposed to come on Friday. And I had been out of town for In Her Boots interviews. If you hadn't seen that video, go check it out. It's the Traveling Boots. I went to 1818 Farms and to A&W Mini Farm. Y'all go check out that video. It was a fun little trip. I had been out of town. Jean had been out of town. And we just haven't had time to get the farm cleaned up, weed eated, and looking good for pictures because they were coming for the photo shoot. So I called her and asked her, could they come Sunday afternoon instead and give us a day to get the place together a little bit. So they came Sunday after church. We had lunch together and started our photo shoot. And we just love spending time with Zach and Jacqueline and Eleanor. We just, we love that family so much. So we had a good time with the photo shoot. And now this week, we've got family coming in. We're all getting together this weekend for a baby shower for our new grandson, Cooper. So it's gonna be a fun weekend, but I have a whole lot to do. I still haven't got all of my tomatoes in the ground. I've got a bunch of herbs to plant. Uh, I've got carrots that need to finish being pulled. I pulled some during our photo shoot. So I definitely want to get the rest of these carrots harvested today. And I'm trying to get everything in the greenhouse planted. So a lot of work to do today. So I'm going to bring y'all with me for a little bit of it. I'm about to have some happy chickens and rabbits. Y'all haven't met our new rabbits yet. Jean came home and surprised me again with two more rabbits. <laughs> well, Jean came home with another surprise. Said you came home with another surprise. Yeah. So I got us some more fertilizer producers today. These, uh, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> Hadn't named them yet, but that's a 100% Rex. 
And this little girl over here, that he's three months old. Three months and a week old. Um, I've got their birth dates written down. I, I got them from a big farm out in uh, out near Demopolis. But this uh, this is a little female. I can't remember her birthday, but she's young. But she uh, got to clean the cages up some more. But she is a um, half Rex, qu one quarter New Zealand and one quarter Californian, and she'll be a very good mama. We hope so. And uh, she's, but you're gonna produce some good fertilizer, right? And babies. Yes. I'm gonna build, they won't be in here. I'm gonna build a uh, real nice rabbit. Uh, hutch. Hutch condo place for these rabbits. And uh, they even uh, fix up that, another chicken tractor or a wabbit tractor um, so they can go out and give us some fertilizer. He's three months old. So we're gonna breed him. <laughs> We've had these new rabbits for about two, maybe three weeks now, and they still didn't have a name because I wanted something that would a name that like fit their personalities and I needed to get to know them a little bit better. Well, Eleanor came over Sunday and she came to see the new bunnies and she said, what is their name? I said, they don't have a name yet. And she said, well, this one needs to be cookies and cream and that one needs to be cinnamon. And then she decided cinnamon needed to be Lily Joy after her best buddy at school. So this is cookies and cream. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Look at him. He said, give me that carrot. Give me that carrot, girl. Here, buddy. He's still kind of skittish and a little bit afraid of me, but he's starting to get used to me because I bring him treats every day. He, too, loves animal crackers, just like Rosemary and Peace does. <laughs> All right, here's... Here's you some lettuce, too, buddy. You want some lettuce? Huh? There you go. All right, and here is Cinnamon or Lily Joy. I think I really like Cinnamon. But I gotta ask Eleanor if that's okay if we call her Cinnamon. She's very shy and skittish. But she's warming up to me too. She's starting to warm up to me a little bit. Isn't she pretty? She looks like velvet. She's so pretty. So cute. You want some lettuce? You want some lettuce too? Look at there. There's you some lettuce, girl. We're getting all kinds of treats this morning, huh? All right. Now we gotta go give Peace and Rosemary a little lettuce and carrot treat. Hey girls, hey girlies. Got, look, look Rose, look Rosie. There's some lettuce. Peace, you want some lettuce? Get you some lettuce, girlfriend, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's finish harvesting these carrots.
it's May here in central Alabama and it's already getting hot and I wanted to get these carrots pulled before they got bitter. They're still sweet right now. I just tasted one and they're still pretty sweet. They taste good. They're not as sweet as the ones that you can grow in the fall and in the winter. They're not as sweet as those, but they still have a good flavor. And I wanted to get them pulled out of the ground today before it was too late and they were, um, they were bitter. And they do this right here too when they been in the ground too long they start splitting so some of them did this not all of them a good most of these are not split I threw away the split ones except this one I wanted to show you but that's what they do when they're in the ground too long and they get bitter here in Alabama when it gets too hot so I got them pulled but I don't have time to get them all put up we got a baby shower this weekend we got a bunch of family coming in and I don't have time to put them up but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the tops off of them, save the tops for my rabbits, and I'm just going to put these in a Ziploc bag and put them in the refrigerator and they'll store for a good while like that. And then when I have some time, I'm going to pull them all out and I'm going to ferment some of them. And I think I'm going to try to can some of them because I got a new canner from Denali for Christmas and I never have used it yet. So. I'm going to see how many I actually end up with. I definitely want to ferment some of these. I've been wanting to do more fermentation because it's so good for gut health. And I need all the help I can get right now with that. So, And I wanted to tell you guys thank you so, so much. I put a video out, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago about my health and what all I've been dealing with. And that I'm getting, um, I'm taking the naturopath way for healing. And I had so many wonderful comments from y'all and sweet prayers that y'all are praying for me. And I appreciate it so much. I haven't went through and I've read all the comments, but I haven't went through and answered them all yet. But I just wanted to make sure you all knew that I have read them and that I do appreciate your prayers very, very much. I am feeling better. I'm getting better. I still am struggling with some things, but I'm getting much better. Um, it's just going to take some time. So thank you guys so much for your concern and for your prayers. I really appreciate it. They make funny shapes like this one. Look at this one. It looks like a girl running. <laughs> it's funny. I got my sweet potato slips in from Hall's Tools, and this year I'm going to try a new variety. I'm going to try Georgia Jet because Greg over at Hall's Tools really recommends it, and I'm growing my normal Beauregard. I always grow that variety, so I'm going to try both of these this year. Lavender is one of my most favorite herbs. I absolutely love lavender. And I always replant lavender every year. I usually get about two good years out of a lavender plant and then it just kind of fizzles away or dies. So I always make sure that I'm incorporating and planting more lavender in my gardens every single year. This, I always plant Spanish lavender because Spanish lavender 
does so much better for us with our heat and humidity and um, it usually lasts a lot longer but I'm also planting some of the English lavenders I'm planting Provence and Hidcoat and Grosso because I love those long lavender wand blooms so I'm um, just getting these in the ground I think I'm planting about I'm adding about 12 more lavender plants this year so lavender is always a must in my garden We had an early freeze this year and we had a late freeze this year and it just killed all of my rosemary. So here I'm replanting rosemaries. I think I've planted about 10 new rosemaries. I cannot do without rosemary in my garden. Well guys, that's all I've got time for today. But I think the next video should be a garden tour because there's a lot of things starting to bloom and it's really looking beautiful out here. God bless you and I will see you on the next video.